Who I am is a reflection of the great experiences I have had here in Meriden. And I was born here, raised here. I've had the opportunity to be the mayor of this great city of Meriden and now superintendent of schools. Most of my life, I, li I lived here at 278 Prospect Avenue and uh, we had nothing. This house was a big deal to my parents. And if it wasn't through e for education, uh, you know, I would have never had the opportunities that I've had in life. My father, he spent his whole life working at this factory and a lot of those manufacturing jobs have gone away, they've gone overseas, they've left Meriden, you know, with poverty rates exceeding 70%. And Meriden really is fighting for a new identity. So I saw a golden opportunity to come back to my home district and really launch some creative work and, and make a difference in the lives of kids. How are you doing? Good. We'll see you, buddy. Keep having a great day. The key to success as any leader is all on how you collaborate, your commitment to working together, your commitment to hearing others' ideas. We have a terrific partnership with our unions. We have a voice that's always there. It's not just, well, let's just check you know, with the teachers. We're at the table, we're part of the team. We can't do business the same way we always have. We need to look at it through a new lens. And I certainly had known Mark for a while and we had already a good working relationship. And uh, he didn't waste any time. And it was right away that I want you to come up with a list of everything you want to talk to me about. And I have a list to talk to you about. And we haven't stopped with our list since then. Keep it, keep it going. Keep it moving. Just as we collaborate union and management, we want our students collaborating in the classroom as well. As we're building these two new high schools for the future, we're outside of the mode that we're gonna sit in traditional desk and that's how we're going to learn. It's going to be much more collaborative in the classroom. We're also offering at our high schools personalized learning experiences, PLEs, where students really create their own credit rearing program. We have students working in, with the building trades, but we also have students working at the local courthouse, students working in law enforcement. That's where education is going, where students have input in what they want to learn and what their success should be. All students in Meriden now receive a full day kindergarten experience. We've launched the expanded learning time at three of our elementary schools, where students go 100 minutes more per day. And it's not just getting more time for the sake of time, it's getting that time to do the enrichment activities that we know our students love and enjoy. We're able to do creative things like woodworking, world cultures, learn world languages. Senor Vernelli was my teacher at Platt High School many years ago. We're able to do fitness activities and climbing walls and CrossFit. We're able to excite and energize kids with technology-based learning activities. You got it. You got it. That's what school should be about, exciting, inspiring kids. And the results have been tremendous. Improved attendance, improved academics, improved feelings about the school climate and culture, but most importantly, we have happy kids. High one, low one, you got it, my man. Just as we've undergone significant change in the school system, you see this community undergoing change. You drive around Meriden, you'll see construction occurring, you'll see demolition occurring. Really, Meriden is braced to undergo a complete renaissance. I am the lucky one because this city has given so much to me and asked for so little. If I can do uh, my best, whether it was as mayor or as superintendent, it's the least I can do to a city who's given me everything. I couldn't ask for more.